everybody, Tom Barnes here. Stories from the 78, not just the 78 neighborhoods of Chicago, but everywhere. And this time, the story is in Lake Forest. And this is the old downtown Lake Forest at, right here at their square. We got the train station down there. And it's surrounded by these mom and pop places that just adorn the street here. And one of them in particular I want to talk to you about, it's this one right here, the Lake Forest Shop. Ellen, who owns the place, her family's owned it for 100 years. Celebrating 100 years is what they're doing this year. And look at this. They even have the dresses from what they have sold throughout the years. A particular fan of this 1922 one, the old flapper dress, but that 1932 one there also, it's very nice. <laughs> I'm going to talk to Ellen now for her story from the 78. Oh. All right, so celebrating 100 years, the Lake Forest Shop, and you're getting a nice view of it right now where some of... The most iconic fashion brands can be found here with Ellen and her family that started this a hundred years ago. That's incredible. A hundred years in business in this exact spot. Yes. That's, yes. What does that mean for you? That's got to be it's, something. That's something special. It's extraordinary. And actually, this is it, we're we added another store, mm -hmm. so we're actually in two stores. She originally started with the one. She being my grandmother. And, uh, what, and tell me about that, how your grandmother started this and the tradition that it, you know, you were birthed into it. It's been a part of your life and you've worked in the store as an official employee for a better part of 36 years. Yes. Yeah. So she started it on a whim. And basically my grandmother was someone who couldn't stop shopping. Mm -hmm. And she was a lucky gal. She and her husband used to travel a fair amount and they ended up in Paris. And she encountered a woman named Coco Chanel. And no Coco, kidding. and no kidding. And my grandmother thought, wow, these clothes are pretty great. So, what year and do you think this might be ish? So, I think that was probably 1920, 1921. Before Coco Chanel is what we know it to be today as a brand. Yes, I mean, she was just emerging. Uh -huh. And what she was emerging with were separates. So instead of wearing a dress, a constricted dress, mm -hmm. a woman could find an easy skirt suit with the skirt sort of grazing below the knee. She could find trousers. She could find a gray blouse with a cardigan over her shoulders. And that was new and exciting. So my grandmother and grandfather returned to Lake Forest. Mm -hmm. She opened up the closet doors and there was a big problem. <laughs> she could not fit any of the clothes in her closet. Mm -hmm. So I think there was a conversation, mm -hmm. and she said whatever she said, <laughs> and I'm going to open a store. And, and here we are 100 years later. And here we are. That's an incredible here, story. And she, and she called it the Lake Forest Sports Shop mm -hmm. because then she was introducing new sportswear casual so to speak dressing and now you have casuals but you're known now in the community and beyond for your evening wear where people can come in and have this service that is kind of fallen by the wayside in recent years but you have kept that and i think that's what is so unique about it because people have this one-on-one -on -one experience where they come in get fitted and have like an experience that might last more than your typical 40 second 40 minutes into a store this could this could be a couple hours if you want it yes. kind of just depends yes and you know people do come to us they come to us for casual i mean we were talking about our our jeans and our pants just a second ago mm -hmm. uh, and they also come to us for the special occasion mm -hmm. and i think what what makes us unique is the quality of the clothing that we have but also really listening to the client and what she's looking for. So when she's coming in to find a dress, we want to make sure that she is trying on the right styles that might work for her. And then when we get down to decisions, she can decide what fabrics, what color. She can change a sleeve length. She can change a hem. She can make it really her own and that's what's so special right and you get that one-on-one -on -one time with one-on-one -on -one. Yeah. and it's and it's for many of the women that come in it's the beginning of a relationship right and we really care our goal is perfection our goal is to make 
our client look and feel her very best and to be walking out the door with a big smile on her face. Right, and I imagine that happens not only with the your customers, but your employees. We were I was working with somebody off camera a little bit. She's been here for over 20 years. Yes. I mean, that's incredible. That speaks volumes yes. to the, the business that you have. Yes, and she, she is remarkable. We have, I'm surrounded by the most incredible women that are so, so talented and the one you met today was Saskia. She's been with us 25 years, and she's from Central America. We have two Ukrainian women. One we just hired this summer who came over from Mariupol mm -hmm. and left desecration, sure. and she has her son with her. So we have people like that who sew and do our alterations. And, and on it goes. I mean, just extraordinary. And you are celebrating 100 years, and you have a couple hundred year items that um, really highlight w the fashion forward sense that the shop has been for so long, including the crocodile purse that is yes. something special and the makeup. Talk about those things. Okay, so the crocodile bag has, has been designed by a woman named Angela Alvarez, and you can see it right over there. Mm -hmm. And it is called the sterling bag mm -hmm. and it's a limited edition crocodile little handbag that you can wear casually or dressed up depending on how you yeah it looks like it goes with anything <laughs> it does and what's marvelous about it too it's like our our dresses you know you can order it in several different colors of crocodile fantastic and the makeup mm -hmm is uh was created by a charming wonderful woman named named jen bobe and she created something called jar bar and makeup mm -hmm. and what she has been about and has been my personal uh real helper silently is that she has created something called a glow palette mm -hmm. And for people like me who sometimes need color more often during the day, mm -hmm. this glow platter is fabulous. You put it in your bag, you whip it out, and you can just go like that, and you're, and you're good to go. And if you're like me and you're in New York and you're meeting someone for dinner, well, you're done. And so she created a centennial black bag, and it's a makeup bag, mm -hmm. and it has the glow palette, it has a fabulous lipstick, and a lip gloss and just just the right amount to get you through and i love that you pay homage to your past with the dresses that you have in the front windows where you show the dresses uh is it not of the year but of the it's of each decade, of each decade so yeah. tom when you go out you'll see there are 10 total in the window mm -hmm. five in each and we do each decade starting with 1922 right all the way where up it all to began. the all yeah and uh, folks who are, you know, they pay attention to the labels that uh, different boutiques offer up. What are some of the ones that you carry here just for the people who are really into this stuff? Because I know there are a lot of people who are very interested in all of this. Okay, so I would say um, we have two lines especially. One is Algo of Switzerland, and they are flying in to be with us this week. And Algo of Switzerland is based in Zurich. Mm -hmm. They do the most beautiful clothes. They, um, they do things for Princess Kate. Um, they designed this beautiful orange leather jacket. It's lovely. It's lovely. They designed this blouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they designed the pull-on pants I have on. <laughs> So I am an all-go devotee. Do you guys do anything um, over the phone, or do you encourage people to come in here and really well, experience it's, it's, it? It's better to experience it because then you can feel it and touch it and and really see how what high, I mean, with this leather, how high caliber it is. Absolutely. So, so and the other collection is Lorda Chavez, and she is originally from Mexico. She works out of L.A., mm -hmm. and... I say to people, you know, when I was married, I wore an Oscar de Laurenta. My parents sort of helped launch Oscar de Laurenta. Today, Lorda Chavez is way above mm -hmm. because 
her fabrics are extraordinary. People come from Europe mostly, I think, to show her their fabrics. She doesn't have to leave to do that. Most designers have to go out and search their fabrics, not Lourdes. They come to her. And her design sense, her workmanship, her people, her expertise, everything is top drawer and as it is with Algoa Switzerland. So when she says to you, I'm going to get you your dress, Mrs. Smith, and it will be here by August 30th. It will be here by August 30th. And that's what people have come to expect. And I, I am guessing that is one of the many reasons why you've been here. The store has been here in your family for 100 years. To have a brick and mortar mean so much to the community, I think, is great. And oh, you, for people not to uh, talk about social media and stuff like that, but do you guys have a website people can yes. look you up? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And, and, we, and we, have, we have a website. Yeah. TheLakeForestShop.com. Fantastic. Well, and thank you very much for thank taking you, time Tom. to chat with me. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I if, appreciate it. Absolutely. And uh, I wish you a hundred more years of <laughs> success in the business. Yes. And uh, we are most grateful to everyone who has made our hundred years possible. Fantastic. So thank you. Yeah, sure. All right, there you have it, 100 years of history of the Lake Forest shop right here in the uh, old downtown area of Lake Forest. Ellen and her family have been a part of this community for over 100 years, but the shop right here for 100 years. If you have a story idea, shoot it my way, will you? Help me out. Tom Barnes, Chicago at gmail.com, or you can follow me on socials. The whole thing's on the website, storiesfromthe78.com. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you later.